Thank you for watching this video interview recorded for the Impact Leaders podcast. Featuring leaders focusing on sustainable and impact investment and performance with purpose. Sharing stories, experiences and advice to increase awareness in the market and highlight best practices. In order to help more people, companies and institutions transition more capital into the industry faster. I'm JP Dalman, founder and CEO of ILA & Partners. I usually interview and feature a specific leader in the industry, but on this occasion I'm being interviewed by my dear friend Emily West. This special lockdown series was inspired by listeners asking for more information about some of the fundamentals and trends. So we created this set of five shorter episodes for people wanting to use their extra time in learning something valuable during the extended lockdown period. So I am very grateful if you are choosing to invest your time in watching and listening, since I know that you are going to feel encouraged and inspired. Make sure you subscribe and get the notifications from YouTube and your preferred podcast platform. And do follow us on social media to stay connected. I appreciate your support. It helps us to keep going. Enjoy this video. JP, I know you personally. We've known each other for a long time. We met in investment banking way, way back. And you are brilliant at connecting people and bringing people together. And I think what, something that's fantastic of what you're doing now is that you've been able to really bridge that gap with financial services, financial institutions that you know because you used to work in one for a long time. And you've got all that experience with a genuine passion for sustainability, which brought you into the sustainable impact world. And then you're just this brilliant connector and you're such a warm person and you've built this amazing network. So you're bridging this gap, which I think is fantastic. Are there any points though that you get frustrated? Are there any points where you, you wish things were moving quicker or any frustrations in that relationship? Um, to be completely honest, Maybe it's because of the stage where I'm in my life. Uh, no, not really, you know, because um, I think if there is one thing I finally managed to develop is patience. So, um, and I think after, you know, having had the benefit of, you know, working in, the, in, in large institutions, you know, um, and having seen, um, you know, how they operate and, you know, uh, having been able to do, uh, some kind of extra uh, uh, activities, you know, within the organizations, like, you know, with you, actually people don't know, but, you know, we were part of this performance team, you know, in one of the organizations. So, you know, we managed to learn a lot about, uh, um, you know, just uh, behavioral economics and, and, and beyond, right? Uh, and then once you understand all of these parts, uh, uh, and then, Perhaps I, I throw there, you know, God's will as well. Um, you, know, you understand that it takes time, you know, and uh, I, well, I wish that some of the relationships were developing, you know, kind of you know, get into action faster. But again, that is up to, you know, it's, it's just part of the process, right? So you have to just, you know, like everything, I would say this for everyone in the industry and anyone that is listening to this, is that it's all part of, you have to get into the process and you have to like, you know, just do the steps and you know, and the follow ups and uh, um, and obviously you know create value for people and, and helping people, right? So um, yeah, I would say the answer is that's the answer. So as well as helping institutions become more sustainable, develop sustainable funds, measure them, are there any other projects that ILA are working on this year? Yes, yes. So um, something that has been kind of in the making for a while, uh, but obviously we think that it's important to be active uh, and you know, kind of even extend our contribution to the industry. So we are looking at the opportunity of um, uh, launching a, an ILA fund uh, ourselves uh, uh, initially uh, potentially with the acquisition of a first already successful uh, fund that is in operation uh, and then subsequently um, you know, with the vision ideally of you know having more uh, funds launch in the future uh, potentially as well having a platform for some of these uh, investment managers portfolio managers that are 
um, not being looked after properly in the organizations that they are in uh, or not appreciated in a way. Um, uh, I think that is obviously, as we talked in, in a couple of the questions, uh, you know, there is, there is not enough uh, out there. Uh, and I think that we, you know, can help uh, by bringing together all of this knowledge, all of this understanding, all of these best practices uh, and deliver a solution for investors, for people that is going to help uh, the industry even more. So bringing together investors who want a trusted source of sustainable investments, because there is a trust issue with some of the banks. People might Completely. question how sustainable they are. So bringing together investors with a trusted source and bringing in the fund managers who actually want to do sustainable investing and maybe where they are at the moment, they don't have a platform to do that. Exactly, exactly. So that's, that's what we're trying to do, kind of maximize and, and nurture um, uh, while actually having some of the best experts and having you know, a real good understanding of, of how to um, create returns and do good and show you know, the impact that we're having. So where are you at the moment with launching the fund? Uh, so it's, it's a process, you know, like, like we talked about as well. Um, and uh, we are, we, so we have a, you know, a target fund already, um, a conversation with a couple, but it's one that we specifically like very much. Uh, now we're trying to understand uh, the, kind of the legalities uh, first of, you know, uh, how to take over uh, and there where we can operate it. Uh, and the different partners that we need for that, uh, including obviously GPs and, and LPs or general partners, and um, so that can help us, you know, with with, the, with to fund, you know, the, so that we can deliver on the vision. If people want to get involved, they can just reach out and and say if they're interested in helping launch such a fund. I think it's it's so valuable, and I think a trusted source of where you can go and invest is this, is very much needed. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, from, you know, if you're an investor or, you know, at, again, at, at, that you want to invest in our company or that you want to invest in the funds. Obviously, this is not a request for investment, uh, but uh, you know, if you're interested, you know, this is how you know, good things are created. And also, if you are a person, you know, that has certain skills, you know, we're looking for, you know, people that, you know, especially on distribution you know, institutional relationships or, you know, analysts uh, that we will need in the future. And obviously, if you have a portfolio manager as well, interested, uh, please uh, reach out. I think it's fantastic. You're not just advising people how to do it. You're doing it yourself. Yes, yes. You know, walk the talk. Exactly. In fact, this is kind of where I, where, where I want to wrap up in a way is we talked a lot about impact. And I'm talking again about the impact I've seen you make. In terms of legacy, through the work that you're doing, what impact would you like to leave? What difference would you like to make? Oh, I think, um, you know, and this is interesting. Well, I'm not going to get into the whole concept of legacy, uh, but uh, but um, I, I think that is if we, we, to be very precise, so with Island Partners, you know, we have a kind of three main goals, targets that we are trying to achieve. Uh, and and there's been, Specifics to you know helping institutions uh, you know transition to allocate uh, not only commit but allocate uh, you know an amount a specific amount of uh, of billions of pounds you know into sustainable impact investing. Uh, then at the same time we're trying to more longer term work with the financial uh, institutions and and, and institutional, institutional investors to try to if anything just influence them uh, to 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 commit again, and this, I make that difference commitment, and actually doing it is very, very uh, different. You know, quite a few firms are committing to a hundred billion on uh, 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 to sustainable investing or sustainable finance. There's different uh, concepts that they use uh, uh, by 2030, let's say. But as you and I know, uh, between committing and saying that you're going to do something and doing it, that's two very different things. So. We are working to try to influence that, you know, again, where we can uh, with the, you know, the two pens and, and that we can. Uh, and then finally, uh, I think, you know, it's just trying to uh, generate more awareness, not only for people in the financial service industry, but just for people in general. And that, that's where the podcast uh, comes in uh, and other initiatives, some of the articles we do, some of the 
organizations that we support, uh, you know, non for profit and supporting entrepreneurs. And so the whole, again, uh, supply uh, chain, I say, of, you know, opportunities, you know, from actual companies' products to financing. Thank you so much, JP, for making time today to share your knowledge and let me pick your brains. If someone wants to find out more information, say someone's interested in the podcast, where do they find you? Oh, so the, the podcast is kind of the easiest one. Well, and me as well, but uh, the podcast is, um, um, you can find it on, depending on the platform that you prefer. So if, uh, an Apple, if you have uh, Apple podcast or um, uh, Spotify or Google uh, Play, a Google podcast, sorry. Uh, and then there is, uh, if you go to the actual main platform, which is in Audio Boom, so if you just Google the uh, Impact Leaders podcast, uh, you uh, will be able to find all sorts of other ways and parts that you can you can listen to online, etc. And also, if people follow you on LinkedIn, they can find yeah. the podcast episodes best, there. The best way to contact me is through LinkedIn. Um, and then if you, you know, just mention this uh, as, you know, reference, that sometimes helps. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And if, if a business wants to get in touch about how they can become more sustainable and particularly an investment business, how should they reach out to you and, and learn more about what ILA and partners can do for them? Oh, they can just contact me directly. That's the, the easiest way. Uh, you can um, just uh, email me at jp at jpdalman.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. How did you find being interviewed instead of being the interviewer? Actually, it was a lot nicer and better and easier than I initially expected. You know, I feel a bit, a bit, a bit uh, strange because, you know, you and I, we have a lot of banter and I'm just trying to be a bit more professional here. <laughs> professional, JP. You're also very passionate about, about what you talk about. So I hope people, I hope people are left understanding that this is, I think this is where all the patience and persistence comes from is that you, there's real meaning in what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I, I it's interesting. That's kind of, yeah, I, I, I that's how I, I, it's just how I feel and how I felt, you know, during just now and talking and, and you can see me like looking that way all the time. I'm just like thinking very deeply uh but uh and there is so much so much knowledge so much uh, so many you know details and numbers and everything i could share but hopefully this uh, is a is a good um, a start and then if people want to learn more they can just say uh, reach out well thank you so much jp we look forward to hearing from you again when you're next interviewing people on your impact leaders podcast and we hope to speak to you again soon thank you very much emily and thank you everyone Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to take an action and share with someone else so we can create more awareness and understanding of the importance of the subjects together. If you are interested to find the podcast version of the series, you can find the links in the description. And please connect with us at ILM Partners for advice on how to transition into sustainable and impact investing.